Welcome to the video demonstration for team number 113's entry to Texas Instruments Analog Design Contest 2015. We are a team of undergraduate students from K.S. Rangaswamy College of Technology, Tirchungod, working under the guidance of Mr. C. Rajasekaran. Our entry is titled Bomb Material Detection Using Ultrasonic Sound Waves. The motto of our project is to create a system which is capable of detecting any kind of material and displaying it. Our system consists of ultrasonic sensors placed at a distance of 10 cm from the target material. Piccolo Digital Signal Controller will perform the necessary computations and will display the type of the target material in the LCD module connected to it. Let us look at the hardware implementation part in detail. Here we have the 9 volt general purpose battery for providing the power supply to our system. The power supply circuit consists of two regulators. One is 9 volt regulator and another one is 5 volt regulator. Here we have the diode for circuit protection as well as the indicator LED and the toggle switch. Also we have four capacitors for filtering out the AC ripple from the power supply. The ultrasonic module consists of the ultrasonic transmitter as well as the receiver. These two are connected to the analog circuit <coughs> and to the Piccolo digital signal controller. Here we have the LCD module for displaying the output of our system and the driver circuit for amplifying the 3.3 volt output of Piccolo to 9 volt in order to make it compatible to drive the ultrasonic transmitter. Let us look at each and every circuit in detail. The driver circuit consists of 2N6107 PNP transistor. The output from the Piccolo TMS320 F28027 is given to the base of the transistor and this transistor will switch the 9 volt output according to the input from the Piccolo. It is used to amplify the 3.3 volt output from the Piccolo to 9 volt in order to make it compatible to drive the ultrasonic transmitter and the next circuit is the amplification circuit. The ultrasonic receiver will transmit the received echo to the amplifier circuit and this amplifier circuit is configured to uh, amplify the signal at a gain of 56. It, will, it is configured as the inverting amplifier and uh, the output of the amplifier will be given to the 4 pole low pass filter. The output from the amplifier is given to the 4 pole low pass Butterworth filter. The filter has been implemented using TL082 wide bandwidth dual JFET operational amplifier. The filter has been designed for a cutoff frequency of 40 kHz. So it will not allow any frequency greater than 40 kHz. The output of the filter is given to the voltage shifting and scaling circuit. The necessity of the voltage shifting and scaling circuit is that the piccolo will sample only the signals at vary between 0 to 3.3 volt. Our signal varies between minus 2.8 to plus 2.8. In order to make it compatible with the piccolo, we have to feed our system with the shifting and scaling. So it will be given to the shifting and scaling circuit. The shifting and scaling circuit has been implemented using the same TL082 IC. The inverting terminal receives the minus 3.3 volt uh, regulator supply from the pot and then the filter output will be given to the non-inverting terminal. Then the output of the shifted signal will be given to the ADC INA4 of Piccolo. Let us look at the hardware implementation part in detail. Initially, the Piccolo TMS320 F28027 digital signal controller will send out 100 pulses of excitation signal to the ultrasonic transmitter. As said earlier, the output of the Piccolo varies from plus 3.3 volt. So it is not sufficient enough to drive the ultrasonic transmitter. So the output of the Piccolo is given to the driver circuit which amplifies the 3.3 volt output to 9 volt and then it will be given to the ultrasonic transmitter. 
the transmitter will produce the short sequence ultrasonic sound waves and it will travel and then strike the target material and after that the reflected echo will be captured by the ultrasonic receiver. The capture signal will be sent to the amplification circuit. The amplifier will amplify the received signal and then give it to the fourth pole Butterworth low pass filter. And after the filtering process, it will be given to the voltage shifting and scaling circuit. The shifting and scaling circuit are made to uh, vary the signal <coughs> in the order of 0, 0 to 2.8 volt. And after that, it will be given to the Piccolo digital signal controller. The Piccolo DSC will perform the analog to digital conversion. And then um, it will implement the 128-point FFT on the ADC values. After that, it will compare the um, highest peak with the previously defined peaks. And if the peaks coincide, the result will be displayed in the uh, LCD module attached to the Piccolo. And if no match found means no match found will be displayed. Let the system be tested. Here we are giving the input material as ammonium chloride. Let's turn on the system. Initially, ready will be displayed, and then the material name, ammonium chloride, will be displayed. So it is correct. Hence, our system works. Let's check our system with another type of material. In this case, we have taken NaCl, sodium chloride. Let's turn on the system. Initially, ready will be displayed. After that, no match found will be displayed. The reason for that is we haven't stored information about sodium chloride. We have stored information only for ammonium chloride. Hence, our system accurately detects ammonium chloride and then rejects the undefined sodium chloride. Hence, it works. Journey continues.